Hey, Kevin. Did you give Eric a snack? I only gave him a snack for kids. I know that you don't like feeding him snacks for adults. So I looked for and chose an all natural snack for kids. He's four years old and curious about many things. We can let him try new things sometimes. You're unbelievable. Why are you so upset? You have no idea how hard I've been trying. I've been trying so hard to keep him healthy. You don't know anything. He's been so healthy and never had a high fever because I've only fed him all natural food. Do you understand? I know that you believe in all natural food, but Eric goes to kindergarten now. He's been eating different snacks from other kids during snack time. He cares about being different from others. I only gave him a tiny cookie for kids. It was only once and the cookie was all natural. Will you take responsibility if he gets sick? He won't get sick. Look at him, he's energetic. You don't know what could happen. The cookie must have been digested already. I gave it to him this morning. I think you worry too much. You should take it a little more easy, Rebecca. I know you believe in all natural food, but it's not always the best thing for Eric. Don't talk like you know everything. You're useless. If you only do harm to Eric, don't do anything at all. I got it. I'm sorry for what I did. I won't forgive you even if you apologize. What you did is a crime. Don't talk to me until you understand what you did wrong. Have I done something so wrong? I already apologized. Don't get so upset about just giving him a snack. I checked all the allergens. It's not like I spontaneously gave him unhealthy food. I doubt that. You don't know if the snack was healthy. He could have a negative effect later. Can you please stop now? He'll be fine. Please stop blaming me. I understood that you want to blame me. But what's important is that Eric is healthy. I'm done. There's no point talking to you. Just don't tell me how to raise my child, okay? He's my child too, you know. We'll discuss it again when you're calm. I'm sorry for what I did today. Can you come home soon? I want to go out. I'm still working. What happened? Is there a reason you can't go out? Did something happen? I don't want to take Eric with me. So, I want you to watch him at home. Why? Did something happen? Is Eric okay? He has a high fever, so I want to go out for groceries. So, come home to take care of him. He has a high fever? Is he okay? I need to go get groceries to make him better. There are so many things I need. Wouldn't he get better sooner if we take him to the hospital? He has a high fever. We should take him to the hospital. Things will get worse if we don't have him treated soon. And? And? Do you think I would listen to you? Your opinion won't do anything. If you don't want me to leave sick Eric alone at home and go out, just come home. Will you? Okay, I'll come home. I'll ask my boss to let me leave early. Yes, please. But I really think we should take him to the hospital. I don't believe in medical science. The hospital won't save us. But they'll at least prescribe antipyretic. I think he needs one because he has a high fever. You're persistent. The hospital won't do anything. There's no point taking him there. I know that you're opposed to medical science, but if medical science can lower his temperature, we should utilize it. Some high fevers are necessary to boost his immune system. It may be true, but what's his temperature now? It's 102.2. It's been getting higher, and his breathing seems difficult. Is his temperature that high? He's never had such a high fever. You should take him to the hospital now. If you want to save him, come home now. I have to go out to get groceries. I will heal Eric all by myself. Are you listening to me? This has gone too far. Even though I know that you're a firm, organic believer, 
It's insane to reject treatment for our son with a high fever. Let's go to the hospital. We will get a divorce if you take him to the hospital. If that's what you want, take him to the hospital. Why would you do that? This is extreme and insane. I've never seen anyone getting a divorce because a partner took their child to the hospital. I don't believe in hospitals. All illnesses can be cured with vitamins and minerals. No way. Did you leave your son alone in this condition and go out? Why didn't you wait until I come home? I was worried that it would get worse while I was waiting for you. I will come home as soon as I finish shopping. So take care of him until then. Don't take him to the hospital. Don't leave your sick child alone and tell me selfish things. There's no way I can leave him in this condition. That's why I told you to wait. It's best to cure him in a natural way. Give him a lot of water and keep him hydrated. It's good for boosting his immune system. I'm trying, but he keeps vomiting. It seems like he can't drink. I can't listen to you anymore. Men should just keep their mouths shut and follow women. You haven't even done much child raising. I can't do this anymore. Where did you take Carrick? I went shopping for him. You didn't dare take him to the hospital, did you? I couldn't just watch and leave him in that condition. Did you take him to the hospital? I believe it was the best thing to do for him. I can't believe it. I can't believe you did this without telling me. Without the permission of his parent. Are you aware that I'm his parent too? Medical treatment is the worst act to kill human bodies. I cure my son in a natural way. I told you we would get a divorce if you take him to the hospital. He's resting peacefully now. What? He had chicken pox. He didn't get a vaccine when he was a baby. I remember you saying you didn't want to get him vaccinated. You were talking about theories that didn't make sense. Didn't make sense? I know natural cures are the best. You took my son to the hospital without my permission? We're over! Where's Eric? I'm taking him home. I said he is resting peacefully. This happened because of you. You can never see him again. What? Don't be crazy. Stop joking. Don't come to the hospital. I don't want to see someone who did this to my child right now. To be honest, I don't want to see your face ever again. You want a divorce? That works fine for me. It looks like we want the same thing. What are you talking about? Is my Eric okay? He is not okay, obviously. Don't you regret your actions? Why would I regret my actions? Is Eric... because of me? No, this can't be happening. This is your fault. Huh? How? You fed him a snack a few days ago. It's weakened Eric's immune system. That's why he got chicken pox. That's it. This is unforgivable. You did this. Enough already. Eric is gone because of you. I cherished him. I never thought I'd lose him like this. You keep on blaming me because you don't regret what you did. Okay? Okay, what? Eric died because you gave him a snack. How are you going to take responsibility? Stop freaking out. I never said he died. You said he's not okay. You said I can never see him again. That is a fact. What? Why? Because I don't want you to see him. Do you realize that you put your son's life in danger? This is unbelievable. But he is alive, isn't he? He's been saved because I've only fed him organic food and he has a strong immune system. I don't even want to talk about this. But I was told that he wouldn't have survived if I had taken him 30 minutes later. What? Seriously? It's true. I barely made it. 
His fever wouldn't have lowered if I hadn't taken him to the hospital. He wouldn't have survived without antibiotics. He was in a severe condition. I don't know what you went to buy, but is your belief more important than your son's life? My belief? I didn't mean to. I just wanted to feed him healthy food. So I went to an organic supermarket. It took longer than I thought, and... You were shopping in an organic supermarket when your son's life was in danger? Be more realistic. I know how hard you've been working to raise Eric, but do you realize that you've been forcing Eric to do things against his will? Just to have your way and go all natural? Eric doesn't exist to get you likes on social media. But I got to make new friends on social media. They've been helpful. I don't care. They all sound like excuses to me. I can't be with someone who puts my son's life in danger. I want a divorce. Are you serious? You said you wanted a divorce. You agree with me, don't you? But I claim custody of Eric. I'm confident that I can raise Eric better. Better than his mother who takes her belief over her son's life. I won't let you take Eric away from me. What do you think you're saying? It's unacceptable that you took Eric to the hospital. His life has been saved because I took him to the hospital. But I guess it doesn't matter to you. What? You just wanted to post on social media. I cured my son of a high fever with organic food. I can't put my son's life in danger for you to get likes on social media. I'm sorry, but I'm getting a divorce. Don't get involved with us again. You can't take Eric away from me. He is my treasure. He is our child. He's an individual. Until you understand that you put your son's life in danger with your ego and reflect on yourself, I can't let you see him. I talked to your parents, too. Why did you do that? It will be a good opportunity for you to think about your actions. I will never forgive you, though. I will file divorce papers soon. Stay out of my life. Just live a healthy life alone, you organic freak. A few days later, Rebecca received divorce papers and custody forms from Kevin's lawyer. Being furious, Rebecca went barging into Kevin's parents' house and attempted to take Kevin back. But Eric rejected her and she had a mental breakdown. I only hope that she'll realize how she had controlled her son and how she had taken advantage of him. But Kevin is more likely to take custody of their son. It is not a bad thing to go all natural, but people lose sight of reality when they are too obsessed with something. It's important to do everything in moderation.